listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B. Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Social Misconduct. I'm your girl, Mick, and I'm here with Tipsy B. Wall. <laughs> Slightly. Slightly Tipsy B. Wall and Spideron. We're just going to call you that by your Twitter name. Don't you hate when people do that? In public. <laughs> Spider on. People right. really call you that, like when they're talking to me about you. Really? They say Spider on. It's hilarious. They don't follow me. Or though. Ron with an he H. He said they don't follow me. <laughs> or Ron with an Ron H. Ron with an yeah, H. Yeah, a lot of people say that. Too. Like, I got friends that be like, we should hang out with Ron with an H. He's like, like more famous than we are. <laughs> like, the bouncers people. do that when they like when they read my, my password. They be like, Ron with an H, come on in. Oh, I'm gosh. like, we're not friends. Like, no, I don't, I don't know you for real. Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Know, you all are so I stupid. That. Okay. So how was everyone's week? It's still early in the week. <laughs> oh, <laughs> La- since the last show, asshole. You know what the fuck I mean. <laughs> well, it's all right. You know, I saw you a couple times. You know, it's all right. When so, I say we got means since last Tuesday, well, I gotta we're be on all, air. Like, well, I gotta be an asshole. Because you are. You've been be fucking with me all day. That's true. Like I'm he's sorry. Been terrorizing I'm sorry. me all day. I'm sorry. Did he have a rap battle with you and you t- do text messages too? God, no. I think you won that with the. With the that was good. He sent me. <laughs> y'all look crazy. He sent me uh, one of those video memes with some Dookie Booty bras getting down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said Dookie Booty because that's what they, they. That's so funny. They was all. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. That's the dance. That's well, I can't it. pop my ass. I'm sitting in a chair. But you, you can you stand know. up. They no, can see. That's okay. No. I just think that. you should go for it. Not right okay. now. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> she ain't see it. She ain't see it. I just saw a motion, and maybe that was great for me not to see. Um, <laughs> so this past Saturday, we went to um, a Super Saturday event. For those of you that don't know what Super Saturday is, it is the Ovarian Cancer Research Fund's annual event. Well, it started in the Hamptons, and um, last year they brought it to L.A., and it's hosted by Rachel Zoe. Oh, that's a fashion lady. Mm-hmm. So stylist turned designer, Rachel Zoe, and then uh, supermodel Molly Sims, well, at former supermodel Molly Sims. Um, they were hosting it, and I was covering it for Press Pass LA, but B came along, and it was pretty cool. Snapped some pictures. We snapped some, some pictures. Food. Had some great food. He bought that cool hat that he's wearing. Who's it I was from about again? to compliment your hat. Gents. Yeah, the hat they're, is dope. They're called gents. They got some cool shit. Yeah. Cool shit. And, like, the good thing is it's a shopping event, but, like, everything is, like, heavily discounted. So you pretty much get half off. Like, Well, 30 to, like, 30% to half off of, like, everything. Yeah, I looked it up online. This hat is like fifty dollars. And you got it for how much? Ten. Ten. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's and a I great event. And a hundred percent of the proceeds go towards ovarian cancer research. So that's what makes it like way better. A that ton is. of celebrities came out and it was fun. Really fun. My favorite celebrity was that dog. <laughs> oh my god, have you heard of uh Jif the Palm? Like the Pomeranian, <laughs> the little cute little dog. He's everywhere. No. His ass got more attention than like people like on the carpet. He was on the red carpet and they had a little chair and they were like, move the chair along, sit a minute while people take pictures. The shit was hilarious. My dog needs not ever see that dog. He's so freaking cute. I put him on my Instagram. So just go to my Instagram. You'll I'm see just, him. He's just, so cute. I'm just glad he didn't mark his territory, you know. I was waiting for him to drop one on the on the car. And the he lady, didn't. like his trainer or owner, whoever she was, she had like a little squeaky toy to make him look at the cameras <laughs> and shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He had a little outfit on. It was just like super cute. Like, <laughs> now, that shit I don't get, man. I don't understand why people put outfits on their dogs. Oh, I would totally I'm, dress my I dog. I never understand Absolutely. It. I do. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. Like, as soon as I get, I get a puppy, it. like. He would be dressed every day because yeah. I want a boy. Well, I don't I'm gonna have to uh, rescue him from your ass. That shit is crazy. They're born with clothes. They don't need clothes. Listen. Oh well, the clothes are cute and tiny. We're born with clothes too. <laughs> right. If no. you want to be technical. Mm-hmm. Well. Mm-hmm. Right. 
So Nuh-uh. We I'm have- talking about fur. We don't have fur that covers our entire bodies. We do. It's just really, really fine. <laughs> and it doesn't work against the cold, does I it? Have, we all from the shot. I, I mean, hair I mean, theirs arms. doesn't work against the cold forever. It just works against it a little bit longer than ours. So you, so you're, so you're for putting silly ass sweaters and shit on dogs? Too? I'm it's for, not silly. I'm for dressing my dog up. Have you done that? Have you done it yet? Yeah. Okay. Just think about it. If you have a dog, like I have a dog, and you live in an apartment, I don't want to clean her little ass every time we go somewhere. <laughs> so. Put some fucking boots on her on her feet, okay? So we'll go out. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally dress my dog. So get ready. I'm just telling you. I'm now. a big dog person, and I don't think I, I can find boots. Well, no, no, it no, 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 it's no. not cute on big dogs. Right, that only like, like little jacket. If you're like dressing up in a costume, but no. Yeah, other than that, no, a big dog. That's not cute. So, um, anything else before we move? Yeah, on? I have to say happy birthday to one of my favorite people. Okay. He would have been 90 years old today. Wow. Malcolm X, El Hajj. Damn. Would have been 90. That's dope. If the people that were supposed to have his back didn't shoot him. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> Did you know him? <laughs> then there's I read that. the autobiography. <laughs> I feel like I knew him. You feel like you know. Wow, 90. Would have been 90. Shit. Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. All righty then. All right. Okay. Well, happy birthday, Malcolm X. So, nigga house. Okay, so we're what a segue nigga house. So we were at a bar that we always go to, like right before the show. Um, and I'm just on Facebook, <laughs> like scrolling down the timeline, and TMZ posted um, about some. I don't even know how someone found this, but like if you type in nigga house <laughs> in Google Maps, the White House comes up. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so I tried it, of course. You know, we couldn't just take their word. I put it into my Google Maps, and lo and behold, what the popped White up? House. The White House. Directions to the White House. That, I, I have no word. So when Bush was in office, what were we what trying to come Exactly. Cracker House. What you use Hunky House. Hunky Homes. Like, I can't. Hunky Homes. Yeah, so... Of course, and we this wasn't even planned. Usually, we have like the show and the stories planned out, but like we had to talk about this today because wow. Um, so they're like, it's unclear if someone hacked like Google or what. So, Google, a, a Google sp- spokesperson is like, oh, we apologize, we don't know shit about this, we're trying to fix this shit like ASAP. It was somebody from the inside, blah blah blah. But I yeah, mean, it wasn't nobody. It wasn't nobody on the outside. Like, of all things to do and I hack, know. let Google. me hack Google like, to put nigga house. What the fuck? Right. You're not saying that, like, Sorry, Google Mom. itself had anything to do with it, but yes, I am. it was the person that works for y'all that Wait, hacked no, into it and Google did it. Like, this is crazy. So, yeah, we had to talk um, about that. Like, yeah, this fucking that. idiot. I hear him under his breath. <laughs> <laughs> so st- I just think about it. Like, they don't my shit. No. They do control your shit. Hush. Watch what they're saying. <laughs> okay, go, go. No, what don't you think? Oh, my God. Y'all are stupid. Nigga house. Okay, so you know I've been posting these damn dub smash videos. <laughs> I just made one today. Shout out to Tanasha and Raylan for showing me that shit. That's what showed me. Tanasha and Raylan? Yes. Well, I've seen Dub Smash on Instagram. The little girl from Blackish, who we saw at the event this past Saturday. Hey, one of her relatives was checking me out, man. Her mother. I that think was that her was her mother. I think so. Oh, you. Oh, God. Oh, she ancient. But <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I can't with you people. <laughs> But she, <laughs> Marseille Martin, she posts um, dub smash videos all the time. And this little girl is like super funny, she's super cute. talented. She's so fucking cute. cute. So I was just watching her videos, but I didn't really know what it was. I just know that it's a video that like it's movies and cartoon voices and shit. And you act it out. It's, it's the best shit ever. It is the best shit ever. So my friends show me this shit because they were like playing around with it. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to try this out. <laughs> look, cause I'm goofy as fuck. If you know me, you know that. Most yes. people think that I'm just like mean as fuck. I am that too. But <laughs> once you know Get me, you know that I'm like super fucking goofy. That Kanye one was cracking me up. <laughs> so 
I've been doing dub smash videos and I'm posting some on social misconduct, Instagram, just like the really funny ones. And then all of them are posted on my Instagram. So check them out at it girl forever. <laughs> the Riley one is hilarious. Oh my God. So I that did boondocks. Yes. That was funny. I was going to do a Riley one. I was going to do the one from R Kelly. <gasps> oh my God. Do well, it. I want me and B, we need to do something together. Cause that shit would be hilarious. Yes. So yeah, we're gonna start doing that. I'm gonna, start, um, I'm gonna just send you. I'm gonna send y'all stuff like. Yeah, this. yeah, just like suggest stuff for us to do because I've just been searching for shit that I like, but we need to do stuff that makes sense for like both of us to do. Once I teach you how to use the shit, because you I got it on my phone. Man. I'm just saying. I, I don't know how to open it to use it though. I, I, it's on here. The I really an old man, so that's not even a joke. Look how you look at it's that. an old man voice. I don't know. Look how you look at it. Ain't that how old people talk? I don't know. No. I hate this old person's voice, by the way. He does this all the time. All right, so if there's nothing else, we can get into the fuckery news. I'm still shipping on nigga house, but yeah, let's go ahead. I know. I just had to, because, you know, we'll get mad up in here and, like, let's Come on, crackers. Give it a rest, man. It's 2015. not even going to go there, but we had to bring it up, though, because I couldn't wait until next week to bring yeah, it up. Racism just, in 2015, it man. It's so much lately, though. And like, then, and then in Obama, you know, Obama just got on Twitter and shit. And, I like, know. motherfuckers is hit. Like, shut the fuck. Like, you inbred sister fucking motherfucker. Shut the fuck up with that racist shit. Just get over it. Just get over it. Niggas I ain't saw, going nowhere. We're not going nowhere. I saw pictures of him, like his uh, a rope hanging with his neck. and I mean, just all type of shit. Like, he just, he's on Twitter. Like, he's been the president for how long now? Like, but I'm saying. He's and, on and, his way out soon. Like, stop. And he's residing over the best economy we've had since yeah. when? Since Bush and all the rest of those stupid Republicans fucked it up, right? And you still mad at this guy. Give it a rest, you cracker ass motherfucker. Niggas ain't going nowhere. Mexicans ain't going nowhere. Asian folks ain't going nowhere. Just chill the fuck out Bro, racism ain't going nowhere either boo so yeah. you're beating a dead horse it's fucking annoying <laughs> like, it's really fucking annoying it ain't going nowhere anytime what do you soon do? um so <laughs> 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 this mother claims that a doctor left his mobile phone inside of her after she delivered her baby um, and she only realized that after her stomach began vibrating now before I read this story I assumed that he had left it in the womb but they said in the abdomen mm -hmm. so that could be not necessarily <laughs> the womb like if the baby was a c-section so where is it like floating like in the, you know but that's down i'm just saying but further floating down. Like, i don't know <laughs> just know that <laughs> she said yeah she had a c-section um back in april of this year so not that long ago <laughs> and it's been in there since yes was he getting calls <laughs> Apparently, if it was vibrating, <laughs> and it's been in there since. Well, listen. So she's at home, like, oh no, there's a cell phone in my abdomen. Mm -hmm. I mean, L this. Let me just wait until. I don't know how long it's been. It says she gave birth <clears throat> April 24th of mm -hmm. this year. This story broke on May 13th. Damn. So I don't know the time in between. Days. Um. She gave birth on like yeah but it's saying that um yeah so she He's delivered the baby and then her family noticed her stomach vibrating that is <laughs> okay <laughs> let me just say her family if y'all see my goddamn stomach vibrating i'm gonna assume you had some hot wings you what the That's fuck i mean it like bruh did what she, but did they see first before she realized right wouldn't you Feel, feel like the extra i mean i usually feel it in my pocket so. okay like i don't Anywhere and then it says she that. began suffering terrible pain i don't know because she went home from the hospital like she was at the like so all through the hospital you had this baby you chilling you at home so it doesn't say like how many days it was there that's just when this story broke but um yeah it has to be for some days though but like, well, what was the doctor thinking? Like, I mean, he had to know his phone was somewhere. And you know, the hospital is trying to deny it and shit. Like, but who, clearly it's your phone, homie. Like, 
Wow. I'm, if I'm, for one, a C section is surgery. Like they cut you off. She ain't drop her own goddamn phone and they're like, who else did it? Maybe she woke up. Maybe she woke up and said, I'm just one of the nurses or the doctor. Like somebody did it. But how you drop a whole phone and and nobody see it before you sew somebody up? I know. Right. What the fuck were they doing? I can't. It's a cell phone. Yeah, that is disgusting. (laughs) Does it say the model in there? I'm curious as to the model of the phone. I know. That would be, I would love to know that too, but it did not say. No, and then this was in Jordan. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I can't. <laughs> that was crazy, um, and I thought that was a fake story when I first saw it. I gotta ask my nursing God. friends that, that that do this kind of shit whether or not this is common, like to lose shit. Yeah, they, somebody. they leave tools and stuff. Yeah, they do. Li- yeah. They leave like whole tools. And people. It's so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Spatulas. Like what the f- what? But why you even got your cell phone in the room? Like what was you doing? Why was that out? It was a it's a sterile environment. Is so what she, you doing? Yeah. Why is he she watching? He watching ESPN and Cause shit. Cause it's like he why texting? would that be yeah. out? I be down in like five minutes. I don't minutes. like a tool. Like I mean I don't understand, but it would make more sense because you're using that. But a cell phone. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Uh, Next, this lady gets mother of the year. This chick claims that she left her kid in the car for a few minutes. A woman in Oklahoma, mm. basically on Mother's Day, <laughs> on Mother's Day, on Mother's Day, leaves her kid in a kid. <laughs> left the kid in there for a few minutes, but everybody else says it was like, thirty <laughs> minutes to an hour because she was in the bargain and fucked up. How old was it? What was the kid? Uh, four year old. Oh. He was poor thing in the back seat, like asleep on the seat. This bitch in there getting drunk, and the bartender was like, "Well, they said first the boyfriend went out to like check on the kid or whatever." So the mama didn't even check on the kid. It was the boyfriend. Yes, yeah, the, the boyfriend. guy that has no ties. To well, the he kid told her. So the boyfriend was like, "Hey, you stay here, get drunk, have fun. I'm gonna go out there." And check on him or whatever. So he stood out there for like, what, 10 minutes or so, it said. And then he went back into the bar. And then the bartender noticed nobody else went back out, like, after a little while to check on this kid. So she went out there to make sure the kid was okay. And then after a while, she just called the cops like, this is crazy. Do you ever, have any either one of y'all noticed a pattern with these stories when we find, like, the shitty parents? They all look like. Just meth drugged heads. up, meth yeah. Head. Cause she looked like she looked fucked up. Yeah. I mean, what you you thought she was gonna be all, gonna be a beauty, queen? right? I don't know. I'm just saying, but there's a pattern here, right? It's I mean, these, most horrible parents are fucked up. Like, most yeah, they all look the same. Like, what ugly? Yes. I wouldn't be able to pick none of these motherfuckers out in the lineup, right? If you lined all these bad parents up and said pick their crime or what they did, like well, the I parents know. last week who gave yeah. their kid weed and cocaine, they all look the same. They all look like that, like like they in a union for just fucked up parents and shit. Like oh they have like God. contests. Like I left my kid in the car for four hours. What did you do? You know what I mean? This, this is buy. sad too. Like yeah. Now the kid is in like protective services because the kid isn't the boyfriend's kid. Like he just the boyfriend. Like it's not his child. So what, what would Grady say? Where your father? Where your dad? Where, Where your father? Where your father? <laughs> so um, this is my favorite one, uh, <laughs> and a, a lot of people love this one because I posted the picture on our Instagram. So now you can um, break up with your significant other. There's a service that'll break up for your boyfriend or girlfriend for you. It's called Instagram. For like six bucks. Six bucks for text or email. Mm -hmm. And then for an extra fee, they'll send someone to do it in person and they can send like flowers and Kleenex and shit too. That part was funny to me. Like Kleenex. Yeah. Damage control. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> like, what? This is some lame ass shit, let me just say. I think if you're going to be a pussy and do that shit, That's the person that you send to the house should be hotter than you. You know what I'm saying? You okay. should give them a consolation prize. If they can't I be with your lame ass anymore. This. You know see, what I'm saying? I if you a fucking lame, going. if you ain't got no balls enough to break up with your chick. Or right. Chicks, if you're over, you ain't got the ovaries to break up with your guy. And you got to do it like this. Then send somebody that's hotter than you to their house. But, like, you can't even send it through text me- Like, what's the difference between me sending some shit through text message, I mean, which is lame Yeah, alone, I'm like, that's already a bitch move. And you're going to pay them $5.50, which is really cheap, girl. 
up your prices. Um, <laughs> like to do it for you. What's the difference? Like I don't understand that. I don't get it. But anyway, I don't some think, people. I don't think, some people can't even press the send button. They're like, <laughs> I can't. But do I don't it. think. I don't think the creator is thinking far enough. Far enough with this. She could take yeah. this somewhere, dude. That's I what I'm totally, saying. You could go a little further with this for stupid ass people that will use the service. Yeah, I would totally weak ass people. I would really? totally send like a hot a hot model to the house. Be like. And that makes it bad. I agree. Okay, you know I got. I get what you're saying. You know, I mean, it'd be a higher fee, but then like the model goes out with the guy, right? Nigga, you know, something rebound. Yeah, rebound. Shit. Call it rebounds. I Just got call you. it rebound. I got you. And so then, the person that gets broken up with gets a get, badder chick a than the one that broke or up or with die, him. Yeah, or a better, better looking dude than the guy that broke up with you. So in the long run, you just look shitty. Basically, you should look shitty if you're doing if this you're pussy using this service like you're shitty. Anyway. Are you kidding me? Like, I mean, I'm not trying to use it, like, <laughs> but what I'm saying is like that's some punk shit. Like that's some real punk shit. That's yeah. some bitch shit. Yeah. That's some yeah. punk shit. That I mean, that's just what. Like she's the owner said that people don't like the confrontation. People are scared of it. It's a much needed service because it takes the fear out of breaking up. You breaking up? Who gives a fuck? I don't want to be with your I ass. Mean, I mean, people are crazy. Why would you be scared to not be with somebody you don't want to be, be with, with no more? Yeah, I don't. Isn't it worse to be stuck with them? Like, Seriously. you waking up looking at this, this motherfucker still here? You know what I'm saying? And guess like, what the name of the company is? Uh-oh. Sorry, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> she didn't think this through. Um, but okay, I love girl. that, though. Sorry, it's like over. That. It's only in Australia, though, so. It'll make it here. <sighs> Someone it's take already this here. Idea. It's called Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lately people, so people break up on Twitter wait, and Instagram. No, so lately, people are posting it. statements on Instagram. Well, semi-celebrities are posting cel- statements on Instagram about their relationship about status. their relationship status now. So, like Dre, you know Drea, who, mm-hmm. who Drea is. She bad as fuck. She is. She dope as fuck. I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> she was on Basketball Wives, but anyway. No. If I showed you a picture, you would know who she is. She's she don't want to know. So she was with <laughs> what's his name? Orlando. Such somebody. And such. He played ball. Somebody's Basketball ball. Play? I don't. Such one and of such. those balls. I don't know. Football. He plays sports. He played for the club. Well, he I used think. to. I don't think he does now. Anyway. Such and such. Anyway, they were together for like <laughs> two years. She put like this text gram. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Instagram. That's funny like, that it's that funny. That's so announcing. <laughs> what? I mean, Toya Wright did the same thing. Toya. Well, you know who really started this? Who? Neo. When he broke up with his baby's mother, he announced it like a while back, and everybody was like, "Really, you tacky?" That's the original diva. Now, did he announce it on Twitter, Instagram, Instagram before he told her? Because that would be. Fuck. I don't know. That's that would be the, fucked that up. Would like, be. And you finding out after like a, a couple million people, right. you're like, oh. No, so I, I, think, this, I think that he told her. I'm That'd hoping. Be real, I don't remember. I think he told her. I'm a hope she knew, but I don't know. But I remember him posting like her picture, shit, with ugly font. Like, I know that doesn't matter, but it matters to me. What's ugly font? Just like basic ass, like Times New Roman. Like, why oh, would you? No effort. <laughs> It's the, you put it's the no, no effort fun. Fucking English like Nazi you, you over here. You put no effort it's, it's into the no effort it. At least get creative. You didn't even like, like, oh, that's that's more me. No, wait, that's not me. So, I mean, so, like, what, so what would you choose? Calibri, 11? Something better. I mean, I choose what I like, what I see. I don't know the bitches by heart. I mean. <laughs> We're writers, the two of us. And so. can we get like a, a Spider-On promo look? Like, can it look better? Like, his shit looked better than that breakup promo thing. Like, Can you make horrible. a breakup promo? You can make whatever. Dude, you should make it. Jet, come on. You we can start do a business. It. And then we incorporate like Dub Smash with that. <laughs> so I then can't. like we I can't. listen, listen, America. Wait, we do the breakups for you don't with the quotes that you want us to say based on something you may have seen <laughs> on TV. Okay. I get where you go on with this. I get where you and go. And if you create <laughs> Don't be telling people our ideas. Okay, so we'll hold, on, hold on. Hold <laughs> on. Um, the wheels are turning. Oh yes. my god! Well, this is stupid. Um, if you all want to read, <laughs> stupid, but somebody's gonna buy this shit. Y'all gonna read more about this on our website tomorrow when I post all this shit. Oh, um, god. yeah. So next, this one. Oh my god, go ahead. This shit's funny. Guy gets caught fucking a car tailpipe. Did you watch the video? <sighs> I watched the video. Ow, it's metal. Did you see the video? What? <sighs> is that a yes? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> so the video. Okay. This is in Brazil, right? 
Oh, he was making love. Yeah, no, Brazil. He was in it. No, he was in, in it. it. <laughs> like, like he had forehead sweat and shit. Like it was like, a porn. He was fucking straight a up in it. Yeah, yeah. Penis in tail. In bite. tail bar. Bam, bam, bam. He was like, how was he that like, low? He bent down. He all the way down he there. He was kneeling. You gotta watch the video, Ron. You have to go and watch it. I watch He's enough like, porn. I don't need that. No, this is that, porn. Th- this that's shit comedy. Is <laughs> hilarious. Like, cause he's fully clothed. He's not naked. Of course not. I mean, he had he it got, out. Yeah, he got his dick out. Not deserve all of that. Yeah. That so he had deserve. it out, and he's kneeling down to the tailpipe, and he is just like, bam, 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 bam. like, oh my god. And he was so into it. He even turned around and saw who I was filming. He didn't give a fuck. He kept going. No shame. So, the homie Radio Flower would diagnose this, and I am curious to see what is wrong with this fucker based on her diagnosis. Okay. Tell her. I'm going to have to ask her like yeah, in a couple her. days. Oh, my God. This is crazy. <laughs> and then, of course, Huffington Post had to go further and come up with like other instances where people were like fucking yeah. objects. That's the thing shit. about crazy. It's never isolated. No, you can always find you can multiple always motherfuckers find, yeah. doing this shit. It's always mm-hmm. going to be something related. So remember that story we did back in the day well, uh, a couple months ago about the dude peeing on shit? Uh-huh. How many people out there peeing on shit? Oh, t- I'm sure tons. How many people out there shitting on people's houses? Like, I mean, this is so Yeah, many we've things. done some crazy ass stories about yeah. people doing weird ass shit. So. Well, I could assume that. I've yeah. actually seen. This okay, story. so this is disgusting and. Okay. Because both the next two are gross. So I can't even just put it on you. So you, I'm going to have to just talk about this. What Let me do about? the other one. I want to do the other one. Okay. You can do this one. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm never drinking milk again. I don't drink, I don't drink anyway. milk anyway, luckily. I drink like almond milk and coconut milk, but I don't even want that shit after this. Come on. I still got some on my refrigerator, Listen. man. I love almond milk. So me too. Th- oh, my God. Y'all not been for me. Fuck y'all. So this lady in Maryland. Oh, my God. Crazy as like, like She look crazy as fuck. Sarah Schrock has been um, taking skin shavings off of her feet and putting them in her roommate's milk. <laughs> oh my god! I, oh, oh my god! Oh god! Please tell us how she found out. How oh god! Found out. I can't even go. get through the story. Okay, go, 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 go. So the room. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the roommate loves milk and drinks this shit every day. What did she do to her? So the roommate's <laughs> drinking the milk and tasted something like lumpy in it <laughs> and spit the shit out. And um, yeah, it was like what looked like skin in the milk. <sighs> Called the cops. Cops came to investigate. They found a container next to the the lady's bed with other skin shavings in it like so she's, so she's saving, saving them yes <sighs> she's saving it to like do this to her roommate that is fucking disgusting who but look at her though she look crazy she looks a little off she look off than a mother a mm-hmm. like 56 years old oh <sighs> I already don't even like Oh my god, I can't I can't drink milk anymore. We, we I don't used, want it. I we can't. Used, we I used can't. to play pranks on our roommates too, but it didn't but involve But this is shaving dis- off. That this mm. shit's disgusting. That's not a fucking prank, first of all. That's not a prank. Oh, let me go back. The roommate was choking on something in the <laughs> middle. <laughs> what? That's so nasty. Like she started choking. <laughs> drink I can't. Oh my god. Okay, let's just get up. Like we gotta pass it. I can't. No, go no. Let's go. Let's talk about this a little further. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Because you don't like it. We gotta move on. Okay. Fine. That is disgusting. It's, I hope that bitch rot <laughs> doing that nasty ass shit. Oh, uh, and she old too. I know. She, I can imagine what her, her feet, feet look, look like. like. Oh. They probably look like eagles claws. <laughs> And what they smell like. Oh, uh, probably Swiss cheese. Taste and more. smell. Uh, My thing is. If you don't know what I'm talking about, doing check it, out that episode of The Read, uh, Taste and Smell. She Nikki doing it, know what I'm talking she doing about. She's doing it that often, but how is she still producing that much dead skin? <laughs> oh, she old. She old. She, she, old. she, she almost old. dead. She probably been saving that shit for a while. Gross. They said she had like a little container of, of, of oh my God. skin in it. Okay, next. That she was using <laughs> to him. put in the milk. I hate him so much. Periodically. <laughs> drip drop drip oh my God. can you but just, this when next one milk, is gross too when it hits the milk bloop. oh and what if it was like that thick skin it on is your thick. Head? If you ah, put a, ah, 
Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. It looks slightly like a potato chip. Okay. I keep saying move on and I'm giving ideas and shit. Gross. Okay, so this is fucking nasty. <laughs> Look at Ron. I gotta say something. You know how black people always be like, niggas don't do this kind of shit? Mm-hmm. Black folks gotta shut the fuck up after yeah. this because we always try to say white people do this kind of Okay, so I'm just gonna get Nigerian restaurant is shut down for serving human flesh. <laughs> I wish I'm motherfuckers running out of food. Like, I can't. Oh a God. restaurant in southeastern Nigeria is shut down for allegedly serving human flesh after bags containing heads and other body parts were discovered in the kitchen. Heads. Heads. Human fucking heads. Like dripping, blood dripping from the neck because the heads were off the body and dripping into bags that is what the fucking cops found oh my god so allegedly they were like allegedly oh, right. frying up people and feeding them to other people oh my is that, is that like recycling god. would that be considered recycling when you fry up a dude and feed him to another dude that is disgusting That's and a local <laughs> priest who ate at the restaurant said that he was alarmed at the prices the uh, prices. Yes. That's what bothered him. A, so if it was cheaper, he'd have been cool with it. Well, yeah. So he's like, well, what type of meat am I eating that y'all didn't raise the damn prices? You're eating Charlie. You're e- basically. What That's the fuck? So what? He said, I didn't know. Uh, I did not know yeah. I had been served human meat and it was that expensive. Really? You don't really seem bothered, though, priest. Like, you just seem real chilled about this. Gross. Did he take a doggy bag to go? Oh I bet my you he kept God. it. I bet you he finished it. I bet you he finished it. I can't. Don't even talk like that. So <laughs> nasty. Finished. Okay, we gotta get to the other two really quick. Uh 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 two girls were playing with a cockroach. <sighs> There's I know y'all. Did you see this video? Yeah, there's a Japanese game show where like there's a tube, right? You sitting there, I'm sitting there, there's a tube. And you're blowing back and forth, and there's a cockroach a in the throat. A big-ass cockroach. Okay. There's a cockroach, and you lose if the other person forces the cockroach into your throat. And nope. they just go to your, like, nope. like, bleh, like that. Like, <laughs> and there's a video, though. And we, so you see it going back and forth, and then the one girl over here was just, like, down her throat. And she was like, oh. She's like, like oh, oh, God, oh. But oh. then she spit it out and smiled. Like, no, there ain't no smiling. Oh, my I'm gonna God. I'm going to get up. I'm going to walk across the and table. I'm, I'm slapping you. the <laughs> shit out of you for doing that. First of all, that First of all I wouldn't even be there. But yeah. if I had to be there. Because I'm like, if how are you even going to smack it if you agreed to do this dumb if shit? If I had to be there, it wouldn't even get to smacking because I'm not. I ain't doing it. Losing. I ain't doing it. Not I ain't losing. I'm just not doing it. I'm going to have the shit. lungs of life. <laughs> I'll be able to breathe life into somebody else. How much breath I'm going to have for that fucking roach in the middle of that tube. <laughs> Your throat. Oh. My God. We saw one the other day and we both freaked out. We did. I was like, Ugh. We saw one the other day and we was like, uh. You know? Oh, my God. And, and then it, before we get to the segment, we got to hurry up. So before we get to our crazy segment today, um, so some teens in Ontario basically took drugs in a forest, got lost in the daylight, called the police to rescue them. But they weren't really lost because this wasn't even like a real forest. Like. <laughs> It was. <laughs> it was in the park district it trail. It was a park, like yeah, the park district like, trail. It wasn't even. <laughs> so they called the cops and shit. The cops were like, "Oh, okay." So yell like help to alert the rescuers, and they said the guy on the phone whispered, "Yeah, he was fucked up." <laughs> So he couldn't even, like, call for help. They found them, like, super fucking fast. Because this isn't a forest. And <laughs> they said it's near impossible to get lost here or whatever. It was, like, during the day and shit. <laughs> and when they picked them up, they were, like, laying on their backs, looking straight up, like, just gazing into the sky. And they refused to tell the cops what drugs they took. That's, like, what, that's happened to me before. I wasn't on drugs. Oh, my I was just God. Drunk. You like, called the yeah. cops drunk? I didn't call the cops, but we were lost at the Dan Ryan Woods. <laughs> the Dan Ryan oh, Woods. Oh, my God. We were lost. I can't. I the, can't. The, the Dan Ryan Woods? It was the part that had trees. <laughs> <laughs> it's not oh, much wait. of that left. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And the cops asked the kids, um, so are there any landmarks? They was like, it's trees. <laughs> That's what we was doing. We was like, ooh, that tree. You're in a park. <laughs> of course there's trees. I can't. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, dumbass kids. Okay, so for this joint, oh my god, doing, I have to say, shout out to Grace Nude for giving me the idea. Let me just say this portion. This I mean, none of our shit is disgusting. not safe for work. 
and you should never have your kids around while you're listening to the show at any given time. But this right here, what we're yeah. about to get into. Put on the bed. It's 834. They should be sleeping. This anyway. is bad, people. We're <sighs> warning you. It's good, but it's bad. It's really bad. Okay. But it's good. So we even came up because I was talking to you about truffle butter. <laughs> this oh is how it God. started. This is how oh it started. God. Okay, so I know exactly where this you is You already All know right. where it I didn't know what truffle butter was. Oh, my God. Congrats. I thought it was the, you know, I thought it was well, so the actual So we were listening to the song. You know. That's how yeah. it happened. Remember, we were in the car, and truffle butter, Nicki Minaj, truffle butter came on, right? Truffle butter on your pussy. You know, that's my so favorite yeah, shit. So that part came what on. <laughs> And it's my new dance move. Okay. I'm so sorry. wait, and he it's over there just dancing, shit. and I'm like, you know what truffle butter said, like means, right? And he was like, no. Well, I thought it was like some cosmetic shit. He Joe. was like, no. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so that's where this segment came from. So he was like, oh, I found like this. Li- oh, somebody sent this to you, like a list of she took my innocence. The most disgusting um, sexual acts in the Urban Dictionary. And Truffle Butter made the and fucking truffle list. Truffle Butter is of on Of course here. it made the I list. I didn't know what it was until like a week ago. But we won't even get, we're going to go in order. We're going to go in order? We're not even going to talk about Truffle, what it means yet. But I'm sure somebody out there knows. So felching. And the fact that these have a name means someone did it. And someone thought about it long enough to give, it, give a it a name. Yeah. Felching. Felching. Go ahead, hit me. I've never heard of this shit. Yeah, this is new to me, too. Okay. So, you want me to start? Yeah, I'm not typing this. Okay. Wait, it's kind of cut off. Felching. That's fine. I'll look I remember it, up. it. I remember it. I'll look it up. Okay, Felching right is basically when the person that shoots said uh, bodily fluid into someone's ass. Oh, yes. Sucks I it out with this. a straw and drinks it. Oh, God. Yeah. And then fucking just. That is. What? Just. Disgusting. What kind of boring life do you have that you gotta do some shit like that? Like seriously? You wanna hear the real definition? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah. When a man fucks you up the butt without a rubber, he shoots his load and then plants his mouth on your anus and sucks out his warm sperm plus whatever lubricant and feces are oh, present. Oh, I can't. All right, so that that's okay. So this is saying it can be in any orifice. Any orifice. <laughs> any where come is and you just take a draw so like an ear hole like yes how do, how do yes. you who's got precision aim shooting i cannot you know what I'm saying? like what and it then, says ear nose nose nose, <laughs> nose mouth booty gross all of this is disgusting i cannot i can't i can't no okay number two munting <laughs> Munting. This is disgusting. This, this one is gross. This is sick. It's this a variation like, of necrophilia, which I, that's just fucking that gross alone to me. by itself. And it's, it's like this is a tag team event here because you need multiple people to yes. actually get down with this shit. It's sex with live living people and dead people. So, but you got to go and like dig up an old a, a person, right? A corpse. Uh huh. And one of one of the people have to go down on the corpse. While said person is going down on the corpse, the other two jump on the corpse's stomach and shoot the remains out of the juices. The rem- remaining juice, yeah, into yeah. Who? Why? Okay, Who? What? What would make huh? you do this? I can't. What? <laughs> what juices are left? Well, and bone fluid. Yeah, Who knows? What they like? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I can't. I can't. I really wanted to eat something after I the know. show. Oh shit! Like I'm good. I don't want anything. <laughs> Truffle butter is number three. <laughs> you explain that shit since you took my fucking. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Truffle butter is. She took my innocence with this shit, Joe. When I'll... the guy puts the P in the A, and then turns really? around and puts the P in the V, but. The brown shit from the anus is on the penis and it gets mixed in with all the stuff in the vagina and it looks like truffle butter so it's brown and so oh it don't smell like truffle oh butter so it's, it called it a tan buttery substance i can't oh my so god. if oh my you god. take the stuff from the booty and stick it in the vagina oh is it called a shitty kitty at that point no it sounds like a yeast infection it's a me. uti a UT fucking it's a I. fucking yeast infection it's a shitty kitty. it is like everything that a woman 
doesn't need. Just, it's our nightmare. Doesn't need. It's yeah. feces. First you're, burning, you're like burning for months. After. Like that is the. What sp- woman would agree to let this happen? Oh my God. She a dumb agree. one. It would just happen. And she'd be like. Oh. A nasty, stupid bitch. Because who the fuck? Bitch? Like who? Okay. So Nicki Minaj came up with the song, right? She claims. Well, from what I read, I don't know if she claimed. Well, I read that her <laughs> title of truffle butter wasn't this meaning. It was because tr- real truffle butter. It's something you eat. It's expensive. It's yeah. like super fucking expensive. Like I've had like truffle fries. I've and, had like, truffle all. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wayne's verse was the only verse that, well, appro- that well, meant was applicable to this. To this. Yeah. 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 Like her verse her was not. Drake was and Nicki verse wasn't like that. It was just like elaborate, like fancy shit is why they called it. Because it's really expensive. It doesn't surprise me that Little Wayne's verse mm. is the, the nasty one. Because he a nasty motherfucker. He look gross. The third definition says the fastest route to a urinary tract Basically, infection. Basically, like, it said, <laughs> do you want to die from hot lava urination? Because <laughs> that's what's going to happen, girls. Like, women, don't do this. Don't do not do it. This one, though. The Alabama Hot Pocket. The Alabama <laughs> Hot Pocket. You already know if it's from Alabama, it's going to be bad. Hey. Why is it called this? Does it contain a roach? Yeah. Go ahead. Dude. I don't even want. I know. I can't even talk about this. This makes me hurt, and I don't even have one of these. Go ahead, B. <laughs> it's like truffle butter without the dick. It's just somebody shitting there. Why? This is so dumb. So the lady. The I can't sh- do this no more. Like I'm through. Like, <laughs> like why did we choose this topic? <laughs> no, but who? Like the people who, need to know this shit. Has the, the, people do need to know this. Look, but we have a big idea. Like, oh, ooh, ooh, I got it. Boo boo in my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> and then the wait the illustration. The illustration. There's an illustration. I missed the Oh, illustration. it's cut off though. So the lady, whoever wrote <laughs> <laughs> So they got the girl Stick figures. upside down and her legs are up like this. And, and the guy smiling. is like floating above her and it's like shit Please. coming. That is disgusting. <laughs> what and then they said people usually like while it's there still have sex what like okay yeah but why why you know what i would like to hear from somebody that has actually done this no i, I don't. don't want to no, i, I want to know meet. what the outcome of it was like what did you think you were gonna get as opposed to what you really got <laughs> you know what i'm saying like who would want to fucking do this who who would want to is what I really want to know. This is the most disgusting thing. Well, I'm already fucking prudish. <laughs> you already know. All this is fucking me up right now. Like, I don't even want to have sex again. Like, all this, like, this is so gross. Like, I'm just so, like, appalled. Thank you, Grace News. I'm so <sighs> disappointed you. in the human race. Me <laughs> Right. People do this. I can't. And then the last one is pretty fucking tame. If you think the about last it. one is hilarious to me. <laughs> the last one is stupid. Okay, you can do this it's, one. Okay, this is a little. It's called the Abe Lincoln. Mm-hmm. So basically, you nut on somebody. If people don't understand what that means, it means to ejaculate your sperm <laughs> fluid. Who's still listening? And don't know what that means. I right. can't. You nut on somebody, then you shave their pubic hair and put it on the nut, holding it basically on the face. <laughs> I can't. You nut on the face, and then you basically build a beard out of their pubic hair on their face and call it Abe Lincoln. Shame on that female for allowing that to happen. <laughs> How dare you, young lady, sit there and let this and happen? Let this happen. This isn't macaroni She's and glue. No, they're unconscious. Oh, what are you, so, so that's, kind of, that's, that's, sort of viol- that's kind of a violation. Like, that's right. But the thing about it is, it doesn't necessarily have to be a female. Like you, can t- I, mean, I mean, you can do it to anybody. Yeah, you can do it to anybody. But well, and it does. It didn't say that they're having sex unconscious. It just said the person's now yeah. like not awake, so they could have fucked. Like, but where you just say the comment? Like, I'm just confused. <sighs> nah, the dude just got really good aim. That's what it is. Or he just did it and that's my, smeared it. So while the person's asleep, yeah, or knock the fuck out or whatever, you're shaving them and then no, you, they right, wake that, up. right as you are about to ejaculate, you punch her in the temple. <laughs> that's that nasty ass. That's that nasty ass frat boy college shit. Yeah, like tea bag and yeah. all that kind of shit. That's nasty ass frat boy college shit. Like oh they come up with God. ways Why to just you? like you know, just do shit. Like all this time I've been wasting my pubes. Who knew? We could have been making could, art out of it, right? I mean, no. I could be giving Beijings to people. What is a Beijing, sir? What is a Beijing? <laughs> it's what people go to the barber shop and they all these all the grown men that are balding, they get this permanent marker thing put oh, on their face. Oh, <laughs> I've heard, yeah. 
I've heard of I've that. seen that. And they walk around looking like asphalt. <laughs> did you see the Did you see the meme about that? The ba- what you call it? The Beijing where they showed the bald dude that had the, the marker hair. Yeah, and they I saw showed it. him shaving with a squeegee. Oh my <laughs> god! And there's a video going around with this guy <laughs> saying like how to make your hairline better, and he took a marker and basically filled it in and then brushed, brushed it. it down. To, yeah. I had a homie. Okay, this is kind of man. If you're going bald, just, just get it shave off, it, off. it off. Yeah, just had, shave it off. I had a homie. This is kind of off topic, but I had a homie that got arrested one time, and he had like that spray on shit. Oh god! And oh. the thing is, you got to keep applying that shit. But he got arrested, so he was in jail for a while. And, and then when he like, came out, like the pieces that needed to be oh sprayed were sprayed. God. So he looked like he had like a cityscape <sighs> on his head. Lord, Jesus. You feel what I'm saying? Just let it go. <laughs> I've been singing that Frozen song like please don't all week to people to let it go. Please don't. Let it go. Please don't. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. It's Ronald. I've never even He is not here. <laughs> I've never seen the movie, but We're Frozen? I sing the song. I don't get the hype. It's okay. Is it? I'm I, gonna watch it. Just I have to it. Get, I've ripped it's it. It's not it's even like I wanna a see it just it's because not no Disney like, classic. My it's nieces like, love that shit. I just bought them like a shitload of frozen theme stuff. So because oh, I'll be going to, you know, Chicago this week and all. For real? I will. Okay. So I need <laughs> Why everybody Harold's chicken is giving no. me No, I want Harold's chicken. I want sharks. Why is it Rudy? Tell me to bring him back some pizza, but keep it warm under my bosom. I like that. No, that's gross. Titty heat? That's okay. He wants it warm and just put it up under there. How long are you supposed to keep it there? Stay warm. No, like get it, I guess, at the airport. And then like while I'm on the plane. Nestle it. like Keep that warm for him. That is so gross. If you put mine in foil, can you bring it too? (laughs) I just can't. I'm only going to trust it if it's in foil. I'm not bringing food back for anyone. Foil does All I said I was bringing back for someone was like Garrett's popcorn. That's about it. That's the only shit that I'm carrying for anyone. That's hot crunchy curls. Real shit. My father sent me one time. Oh, now. Okay. Hot hot crunchy crunchy curls. My father one time. I I got you. I got you. I asked my father one time and he sent me uh, an entire jug, like huge jug of the, the sauce that Harold uses. Yeah. Oh you, his <laughs> you want? You know, I text him because I need some more anyway. I yes, can't. because I have no problem putting that on chicken. On chicken and shit out here, right? Because they don't have that out here. Okay. We should have like a social misconduct throwback Chicago basement party, <laughs> and you should sell all. We should sell all that stuff. All like the shit that we use. Pickles, <laughs> bring it all and back. Snow cones and fruities and the blue blow oh pops my God. and the green and the green and taffy apples. Ooh, Ooh. Taffy apples. I can't wait to go to Chicago and just eat all fat shit. Just what? like bad for you. Just like I can't. All wait. the good shit in Chicago is pretty fat. Mm-hmm. Fat yes, people of course. shit. Anyway. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm all hitting, the good shit. I'm hitting it on the way, on the way back south. Fuck Mama. all that health shit. I'll do that when I get back here. You can have. A week I'll go break. back hiking and all that shit. But I'm not. I can't. She was not, not asking while I'm for in your Chicago. permission. <laughs> like at I'm all. I'm giving it. Like don't. Hey, look, 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 look. <laughs> That's the look he but, gives me to try to scare me. Like, no. Why'd you get so serious so fast? I don't care. It's practice. So yeah, y'all can place y'all orders after the show. I'm leaving on Thursday, so you only got today, basically. I need, so. need some heralds. I ain't bringing no goddamn heralds. I know you ain't. Anyway, wow. so if you missed our show last week, we had Carlina Britch on, and we had a lot of fun with her. So go back to YouTube and watch that if you missed it. Um, the audio is also on iTunes and SoundCloud. People forget about that. Like we still put the audio oh, SoundCloud. on SoundCloud iTunes. and iTunes. Still every show. Yep. Um, what else? The newsletter. I sent out a newsletter starting today um, so that we can just like keep you all updated in your email. You don't have to go searching for shit <laughs> like. It's all together in like one thing. People seem to like it. So if you want to be added to our newsletter, you can sign up on our Facebook page. There's a tab on there where you can sign up on our um, website at socialmisconduct.com. Or you can just DM us on Twitter at social misconduct, Instagram, social misconduct. There's a lot of ways to like reach us and get on our newsletter if you want to do that. Um, If you like any of the promos that you see, that we post we'll be posting some new ones too um that is all the handy artwork of spider-on right about here <laughs> look how you look at 
So if you um, have a show or, you know, an event coming up or whatever, hit him up. Tell people how to find you, sir. Um, Same name for everything. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and Tumblr, Spideron, S-P-I-D-E-R-H-O-N. I I love how you just forgot a little bit right there. I Um, forgot it was my name. So, yeah, he's really good if you like anything that you see it. He is charging you guys, so don't think that this is like free <laughs> right. shit. But um, for a small fee, he can do that for you. Um, and videos. And videos, yes, videos as well. So we would be having some new stuff coming up. B and I talked about some new stuff, new videos that we would be posting on our YouTube page soon. Some experiments and reviews and all type of fun stuff um, coming up. Hopefully, in like the next week or two, right? Pretty soon. It, it would have to be, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that'll be coming up. That'll be fun. It'll kind of be like social misconduct, but like at home. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find a name social for Social misconduct on my couch. Right. It'll be like at <laughs> home, but. That's something to think about. Yeah. It, it'll be fun. Anything else before we get out of here? Also, sir? if you want us to help you break up with your <laughs> Oh, my God. Others. That is not a thing. You can also right find now. us. You can find social us. Social misconduct. I at social misconduct on twitter <laughs> <laughs> social um. misconduct radio on facebook anything real that we need to talk about that is like current i, I think i could be real cool with breaking up with people for you for a small fee okay look naked she don't like you no more and i'm done all right you don't think that'll work maybe wrong no anything else people before for we get out of here you supposed to have my back i do they're just Thank ignoring you. me anything else before we get out of here <laughs> What the fuck? No, no, I'm good. <laughs> You're good. You're good. All right, people. Same place, same time next week. Peace out. You're listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B-Wall, only on LA Talk Radio.